You ask and you shall receive. It's your boy Darren Green back with another one of these reaction videos. What's up, child? This is girl. I don't know why Siri is talking to me right now. I don't know why I didn't talk to her. So I don't know what that was about. Anyway, it's your boy Darren Green, host of the Darren Green Show, your one-stop shop for celebrity gossip, news and music, pop culture, and the latest gab on social media. Be sure to give this video a like and a comment. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, girl, what are we doing? Subscribe to that ZM channel again. All right. So like I said, <laughs> as requested, I'm going to be reacting to Lotto's album, Sugar Honey Ice Tea. Okay. This was an album that, you know, I really, I really, look, here's the thing. <laughs> And don't let the shirt fool you, child. I'm not trying to be shady. I really was just trying to find, like, a shirt that kind of complemented the light and all that. Because every time I wear a dark shirt, it just doesn't come out right in the video. So I'm trying to get into it. So anyway, this is the only good shirt I had. And, you know, it's not trying to be shady, child. Before y'all sit there getting the comments like, you, you, why are you reacting to a lot of album on a Nikki shirt, girl? Because, period. Anyway. um, So, yeah. Uh, this was an album that... You know, I heard about, I heard, I heard her like make her little announcements on and stuff like that. So I wanted to see what it gives. I was reading a lot of the blogs, child. They saying that uh, some of these uh, songs she was getting at certain people. I make sure I get them. I turn the lyrics on because I'm playing on Apple Music, so it's gonna read me the lyrics so I can see what she's talking about, honey. Let me get my little phone stand, child, so I can see what's going on. Okay, but. Shout out to y'all for blowing up the Chloe's um, uh, Trouble in Paradise reaction video. It's doing really well. So thank y'all for tuning in. Even though I told y'all I was going to do Lotto's first, but then ended up doing Chloe's because Chloe kind of stole the show. Um, but look, you got Lotto's reaction now. Now let's get into it. Now the first song is Georgia Peach. Let's see what it gives. Okay, choir. This is different for Lotto. My little Jolly Ranchers child. Yeah, yeah, huh. Georgia Peach, put me somewhere on a gorgeous beach. Me pulling up outside of magic. Mm. Niggas know I'm from Jurassic. Keeping that shit in my jacket. Niggas go I was sitting over my sister. They skipping they practice. Okay. Pulling up outside of magic. Pulling up outside of magic. Georgia Peach, you know that I'm. Here's my thing. I love it when we start off with an album. And it's like a story, you know what I'm saying? Like, or it's like the intro to the album. I really hate when people nowadays, and I'm not trying to say no names. We did react to them in the past, but like, they just start off just, you know, not with an intro. So this is cute. I'm not going on the personal playlist, but it's cute. Okay. It was a cute little intro. I just noticed, too, it's a lot of songs on this album. You know, we're going to get through all of them. Don't worry, because I know y'all like to say I like to skip over everything. But, um, oh, wait a minute. So it's only 17 songs. These are just, okay, these are like different versions of the same song. That, okay, so it's, on, okay. But still, still a lot of songs. Anyway, next song is Big Mama. Let's see what it gives. <laughs> Okay. Okay, we changing it up a little bit. I felt like she should have came in with this beat. I, that first part, I'm sorry. I'm like, okay. Oh, y'all gonna hate me this this reaction. <laughs> so I think she's playing around with different sounds, different cadences a little bit. Well, I don't know. This is like the second song, so we'll get into the other songs we're ever gonna get into. 
Um, I love when people play around with stuff. You know, it, I'm I'm all big on experimentation and all that. That first half of the song, I just I was like, girl, is this is this a slow song? But then you talking about F and U to you come, hun. Like it's giving cupcake a little bit. Like <laughs> in which I ain't got a problem with cupcake, but cupcake that's she known for doing that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let, I'm gonna go to the next song, child. Now this is Blixum. Now hopefully this is like more a little, a little upbeat, child. Cause Lotto makes that song you get hype for. You know what I'm saying? Like rip me at the place that I be acting brand new. Like you know I'm hype. You know I'm in the car. We're we're zooming past like you know quick stop or something like that or the gas station or whatever. And we playing this you know getting real ratchet and BNG and stuff. I, I'm looking for that type of music on here. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, here's Blixum. Girl, what is this? What are you saying? Wait, wait, wait. What are you saying? I love a drummer bore ba rumpa dump bitch. Not the damn drummer bore song. Not we make nah. <laughs> what is this? This sound like you know what on Blixum. This sound like the same cadence and flow that Bia had for that flop of a diss towards Cardi. Don't it like something like I don't know. The rhyme pattern sounds the same. It's not giving. I'm not. I'm being honest. I'm sorry. Not oh okay. <laughs> this is the epitome of the song. Pipe down, pipe down, because it did not give. Okay. <laughs> anyway, the next song is "Settle Down." I like the beat. Oh, hold on now. I think this is where she's getting into <laughs> some of the innuendos. Okay. Hold on. She said, bitches try to play me. I'm the one acting tough on stage. Then they run. Look, I'm not trying to put, I'm not trying to connect the dots, but we got to connect the dots a little bit. Okay. Let's run that back. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I like this. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. I'm actually at this. That lap dog bar, I heard that on the blogs too. They said that she was talking about Ice Spice Girl. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> I'm okay. Now I'm right. This is we're finally getting somewhere. Them first couple songs, I was like, okay, girl, when we gonna get to some things? I did like settle down. That's actually I'm, I added that. Okay, Lotto. Now this is shrimp and grit. Now you know Lotto. She always want to have a damn black reference up in something that she's doing, child. Shrimp and grits, girl. Okay, girl. <laughs> Drinking your what? Wait, hold up. She says shrimp and grits, simp, and licks. Girl, what's the correlation? I feel like a lot of songs on here don't make sense. Am I? Am I? Or maybe I'm just a hater. I don't know. Let's let's continue. Y'all gonna hate me this video, child. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, it is kind of getting a little catchy. Oh, this is supposed to be Young Nuda, Nudie, Young Nudie. Yeah, I don't know who that is, but um, yeah, it's featuring him. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna continue. I, I don't. It's very repetitive, like the shrimp and grits, simps and nicks, or simp, simp and licks. Child, I, I, I don't get it. Maybe I'm old. Okay, I'm okay, I'm okay with that. <laughs> anyway, there's there she go. Back then, I was broke. Wasn't she like a nepo baby? Like, didn't she live right in pop? Like, not in poverty, girl. That's the opposite. Didn't she live like in the suburbs and stuff? Like, I definitely like my cousin knew of her, not know her. She didn't know her, know her. But I'm just saying, like, she was on some type of show back when she was a child or something like that, and it was like some type of a come up rappers type thing that was on either BET or VH1. Like, definitely was in the industry very prematurely girl like what not broke you mean middle class <laughs> i mean i'm here for it like you got to be a little bit of an actor to be an artist you know got to sell the story That was definitely a Megan flow right there. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're cool with each other, so it's like you know, it's whatever. But that that whole that part of the song kind of remind me of something. It's something Megan would say. That was there she go. Next one is Brokey. Hopefully, I, I don't know the, the the way this title is set up. I think I'm gonna, I might get into it. <laughs> Y'all are probably gonna be eating me up in the comments. I'm, I'm trying, guys. I'm really trying. Okay. Wait, she said, bitch, got to wait till they birthday to, to go out of town. Bitch, got to wait till they birthday to go out of town. You know, I'm a homebody, you know, <laughs> like, yeah, girl. I mean, I, I could, if I want to, I can go out of town. Anybody can go out of town. Now, if you would have said, bitches got to wait till they birthday to go to the seasons, the four seasons or some shit or, or something extravagant, then okay. Bitch, I leave my town every day to go to work. <laughs> it, 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 like I said, it just don't make sense. It don't make sense. Some of the bars here and here don't make sense. Okay, I'm trying to be as as neutral as possible. You get what I'm saying? I don't have nothing against Lotto musically, personality wise. Mm, but musically, I have I get into her music, but it's just girl. I don't know what's going on with this album. I do not know. All right, I was broken. What can I say? <laughs> Let's move on. This is a mini interlude. Do I want to play this? Oh, my goodness. Your video with J-Lo, okay? You were hot. You were on target. Like, I don't, like, it, like this interlude and then also in the intro of the like of the album it does it does, it's not in, it's not congruent to the music that's was being played 
you want to have this artsy moment with the background music and it sounds very old 50s type i don't see it i don't know anyway <laughs> here's h&m You already know what I'm about to say. I'm feeling the beat. Now, now this is what I'm talking about. Come on. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Now she should run a fan page, girl. <laughs> Ooh. My petty bitch at your age. That's just pitiful, girl. Who you talking to? Girl, I'ma just let it look. <laughs> She's taking it. She's taking it here. Now, see, this is what I like because I feel like she's playing with different sounds, a little bit of a cadence difference. Um, whoever did this song, this is this. I like how it doesn't sound like your typical Lotto song. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the Lotto type beat or this artist type beat. Like, it's something just a little bit different. And it's, I don't know, it's it's kind of catchy. Okay, Lotto, you got that one little one. You got that one little one. <laughs> anyway, here is Choppa Cove with Honcho. We're about to get into a lot of features after this, too. Hopefully that brings up morale, honey. We could have hired a singer. Like what, girl? Oh, I can hear the auto tune. Like I'm noticing that there's a lot of like R and B type songs in here, which is cool. Like I said, we could have hired a singer. You know, I know SZA might be a little bit up your your pay rage or whatever, but you can get some a Walker, maybe like an Ari Lennox or something. Maybe not Ari, but definitely Summer or something. What is going on with this? I don't know what this is. I swear to God, I'm not doing this. <laughs> anyway, next one is Air Candies with Coco Jones. Or uh, yeah. Okay. All right. We got a singer. <laughs> I'm. I, I love me some Coco. So okay. Oh shit. I like Coco Jones on this. Like it's very, it's like a cute little bop. I don't know. It's just, it's something about it is just similar to something that I've heard before. Um, I love listening to Coco Coco Jones can sing. Okay, let's be very clear. The melody, the the voice, uh, my God. Um, when's she gonna drop an album? I mean, I know she dropped projects before, but like, when, when we coming out with an album, child? Because I need to get up on that uh, reaction video. Okay. Um, next one is liquor. Okay. 
Now that sounds like a Doja song. Now this is something Doja would definitely. <laughs> she's definitely doing a song like this. Like, girl, did you get a song from her camp or something like that? Like, girl, what is this? girl? Uh, uh-uh, uh, girl, we clocked it, honey. I clocked it. This sounds like something Doja was saying. Like the way that she's going in and she's like kind of playing around with her voice. That's. I mean, cool, but. <sighs> Okay. Yeah. Uh, I just don't even know what to say with this one. This one is just like I said in the beginning. It felt like we're playing Doja like the cadence that Doja be using sometimes. Cadence and flow. Um. It's and it also oddly is kind of like really repetitive too. At the same time, like I've I don't know. Like it's it's I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to get into the next song because this is Squeeze and it has Meg Thee Stallion in it. So hopefully something will go down here. <laughs> okay. This is definitely a song Megan will get on. <laughs> Can't wait for Megan Park. <laughs> yes. Yo. This might be my favorite song on the album, honestly. Yeah. So I'm sadly I'm thinking that the features are really saving the album because every time there's a feature on, I'm kind of like I liked it so far. Like the Cool Jones one, like I said, was uh, the one that she did with Hancho was kind of good too. The next one is Good to You, and it's with Sierra. Okay, girl, we got we got a little bit of a budget here. Look at all these dang re- recognizable features. Okay, period. <laughs> And this is definitely a Sierra type song. Okay. You know what? I like it when, and I'm sorry to pause during the song, but I like it when Lotto does music like this because it's like, I feel like it's not taking herself too, or trying to take herself too serious. Like, that's what made. Um, that Mariah Carey sample, Big Energy, there we go. I was trying to find the song. That's what made it like so popular is because it was like, it, it, she wasn't trying to be like, oh my goodness, I'm this super lyrical or super like braggadocious. Like, girl, you, you were, it was simple stuff. It was simple shit that she was rapping about, but it wasn't the stuff that you were saying. We didn't care about that. It was the way you said it in the way that it was given to us and presented to us in a song. Like, I think that this is like, I'm not saying like you're like a bubblegum rapper because I know some people don't like to be associated with that and they want to be like looked at as more of a lyricist and stuff like that. But like, girl, I mean, we like it when you're doing like the simple shit like this. You know, this is cute. This is cute. The song that she did with Megan was cute. You know, there's another song, H&M. Love that song. You know, it was because it, it just felt like her. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be whatever, but I do like this. Yes. You know I like it when I played the whole song through. Because <laughs> that's what it's given at this point, girl. 
anyway, this is a look at what you did, honey. This is what Mariah the Scientist. Let me tell y'all something. I get into Mariah the Scientist. Okay, so whenever she come out with an album, you already know. You already know. Okay. That's my girl. So, this better eat. She doing a lot of singing in this album. Okay. I wanted Mariah to get a verse on here though. Like I feel like she's just doing the chorus. Which I mean I mean it is what it is, but okay, girl. This is prize possession featuring Tezo Touchdown. Okay. Are we gonna close the album off on some R and B records? Okay. He really do sound like BNB Rock. He sounds just like him. Who is this nigga? Why he get a verse, but the but the, but Mariah the Sirens is gonna get one. Girl, what am I listening to? What is this? What? I'm turning I'm turning this off, okay, girl? Because what the hell? You just let him take over your whole song. It sounded like he sounded. Absolutely not. We're gonna play the last song, and I'm out of here, child. Because what is this? All right, so this is a shout out to me. Oh, I feel like I need to get into the lyrics. Damn. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, so because this was the verse, honey. That was the. She said, I don't double date because my man think all oh, that shit corny. He doesn't relate. You playing for radio play. You fighting for radio play. He fighting a government case. Now, I don't know why people thought. Okay, so. Ooh. Ooh. That girl, she messy. I do this for me and everything that I was, nigga. Oh, uh, not ice is just water when it melts, child. That was that was, I guess, her response to. <laughs> ice. Look, I like this song though. I mean, it 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 definitely is like a cute little vibe, you know. Not going on the personal playlist, but. She doing her thing here. Oh. And I feel like that was the that was the what people were saying that was the diss to Nikki. The crown is coming home soon. I'll be sitting in the throne soon. And the next girl with dreams making a bold move. The love they never showed me is that I'll show that what I will show you. So definitely I felt for with that a little bit, I guess. 
But, girl, part of you is the reason why y'all started that beef, child. Let's be clear. <laughs> but I'm not going to get, I'm not going to, look, uh, look, this is her music. This is what she, you know, perceives and everything. So, whatever. Bitch, and I told you, go, this shout out for me. Okay, that was it. And after that, we got like a couple of put it on the floor and Sunday service alternate versions. That's the album. Um, so hate to be the bearer of bad news. I'm not feeling this album. Me personally. Now, like I said, my opinion does not mean anything outside of me. Um, music is subjective just because I may not like it doesn't mean that you didn't enjoy it or whatever the case is. I just really didn't enjoy this album that much. I felt like we don't really see a change. Like this is how many albums she got. She got like at least three by now. Right. Cause I know seven, seven, seven. And she has some albums back. I mean, she had projects back then. I don't know if they're considered albums. Right. But her breakout album was like seven, seven, seven. That's the one that she was known for. I don't know. Um, it felt very rushed, you know, even the album cover was just like, girl, this is, this is your second album. Why are you outside the hood? Clean the car. This is sugar, honey, ice. This is sugar, honey, ice tea. I don't know. It's just the production just was not there for the album cover. Also the music on there is just, is not congruent to the theme of like, I don't get what the theme is of this album. Maybe it doesn't have a theme. Albums don't have to have themes. It's fine. It's cool. Um, a lot of the songs on there, I just was like, it was her trying to take herself too serious as like a lyricist. And it's just like, we, I like the fun lotto, like the lotto that, you know, it's not going to be lyrically happy. It's not going to try to get us with some type of metaphor or whatever the case. Like I see, like she was like, giving us like trying to give us like clever metaphors and, and, and stuff in the song. I'm just like, okay, girl, like cool. I mean, that, whatever, but it, it's nothing to vibe to. I don't hear any hits on this. I don't hear any hits. Like I don't, I don't see anything that I don't see any virality in any of the music that she's dropping. Now, like I said, I have like three songs that I added on my personal playlist playlist. I do like the one with Megan. I love H and M because it's very they're very catchy and it kind of reminds me of the lotto that I, you know, got to know in the beginning before all the mess. You get what I'm saying? I don't know, but y'all will tell me what y'all think about that in the comments. Okay, <laughs> I'm a little perplexed. Okay, <laughs> I'll see you guys with the next reaction video. Hope you guys blow this one up like I blew up the last one, child. <laughs> I try to be as unbiased as as possible. Okay, don't let the shirt fool you. I judge based on music and not if I think that you're, if I like you as a person or not. You get what I'm saying? So uh, with that being said, see you guys next time.